pretty is this? Okay, let's make this one today. This card uses the memories and more card pack on page 25 and you get 20 card bases so that is awesome and look at how pretty that is that's the bumblebee yellow with the dandelions beautiful and the matching envelope ready to go oh i hate that's on the inside this should be on the outside how pretty how pretty okay and so we will do a little bit of blending today a little bit of gilding and we'll put this beautiful card together love it love it okay let's get started okay first let's work on our blending and so to do that we will need blackberry bliss Misty Moonlight and Bumblebee. Okay. I like to do my blending on just a piece of cardboard. Look at all of this. <laughs> if you get paper pumpkin, you'll have these in your paper pumpkin boxes. These are great for blending on. This piece of paper is cut from the Ornate Layers dies. Beautiful stamp set, or beautiful die set, I'm sorry. So I'm going to go blue, purple, yellow. Okay, so I'll start with my Misty Moonlight. And with blending, it's important to remember that you want to want to start off your paper. So I'm going to start my circular rotations off the paper, gently roll on, and then roll off. Okay? Wax on, wax off. Roll on, roll off. Now remember with blending, you're only looking for a light application of ink here. You're not trying to deeply saturate your backgrounds. I love the misty moonlight. It's such a moody blue. <laughs> so I do try to keep it a little bit on the lighter side. Okay, and then let's switch now. And let's do some, some Blackberry Bliss through the middle. And I persistently am calling this Rich Razzleberry, but it's Blackberry Bliss, same thing. Start off the page, roll on. Okay, off and roll on. And I do, this Razzleberry has enough, uh, Razzleberry, there I go again, Blackberry has enough red in it that you can mix it with the Misty Moonlight. And you actually, so I've got <clears throat> Blackberry, Misty Moonlight, and you'll see a beautiful, truer purple emerge through the middle there which is nice. Oops, that was blue and I was doing it on the purple. Okay. Try try your best to not put all the pressure here, but rather blend with the same pressure if you were signing your name. You're comfortable signing your name so you don't put a lot of stress into the front part of your arm. You keep it, you keep the muscle up here. 
So you want to try to do that when you're blending as well. So you're just trying to keep a light motion. Okay. The more you blend, the more motion you put into your paper, the smoother and more blended out your colors are going to be. So you have to decide, do you want a, a blended, blended background? Or sometimes it's fine just to get some ink off onto the paper and not necessarily blend it around. Depends on the background that you're looking for. And always remember, if you're not happy with a particular background, then don't use it for a background, but use it with your die cuts. You know, just die cut a shape out of it, and you'll find it is as beautiful as can be die cut. Okay, now I'm going to switch to the bumblebee. Normally, I would use curry, but I was following the colors in the Dandy Wishes papers. Oh, I love this bumblebee. Totally unexpected surprise. Okay. Okay. Off, on, off, on. Remember, I'm really not trying to start anything on the paper. And the same thing is happening here. So between my blackberry and my bumblebee, I'm going to get a nice coral orange strip of color. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and go back to bumblebee. Um, I'm sorry, back to blackberry. <laughs> blackberry, bumblebee, I'll get them all straight, okay? And I want to get a nice, oops, got to blend that a little bit. Look at that. Look at how beautiful. Oh, no, I bit my paper. I mean, it just doesn't get any better than that. It just looks like a sunset. Oh, I love it. Okay, this is my... And I strip a purple in between those two colors, and then I'm gonna get my little coral orange going here. All right. Wow. Look at that. Oh, I love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. Okay, that's our background. So let me move these out of the way. Cover my inks. I'm surprised I haven't. I'm surprised I don't have blackberry on me yet. Okay, I'll just slide these out of the way. Okay, and I'll slide this out of the way. Okay, I've got two here. I think I'm going to go ahead and use this one. This one, I think I'm going to add some more blackberry to that one. Okay. Oh, isn't that pretty? And it's so smooth. Oh, the paper is so smooth. Love it, love it. Okay. We need to add some gilding. Okay. So let's do that. I realize it's a somewhat vain attempt to control the gilding. I'll give it a try. To use the gilding how I have been using it, so I just have a tub of this. This goodness right here, gilded leafing. A big tub, a glue stick, and then if you check your craft rooms, uh, find one of your old stencil brushes. Okay, I found this to be helpful with the gilding. I just tap. Look, I just tap. I don't go crazy with this. Oh, look how pretty that is. Whoa, look how pretty that is. What? 
Oh, I'm going to have to do something with that. Are you kidding? Look at that. So I just put my glue stick in the gilding, not on purpose. That's a happy accident. <gasps> Look, and then you just get this light. <gasps> We're going to have to do that. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Look, let's do this envelope. Look, let's do this envelope. Okay, I'm going to put some of this in this gold leaf. Look at this crazy mess. Okay. Okay, scrape some of it off. Watch this. What? Okay. I don't know, that may not go through the post office. Oops, too much. Ah! What? Look. Oh, Y'all, it's sticking. Get out. Look. And then just take this. Look at that. I've got too much right there. Look. Okay, it's totally too much right there, so you cannot mash that down. Look. How fun is that? Oh my goodness. Okay. All right. I digress. This is what we're working on. Okay, let me add a little more glue up here in the corner. Okay, and then I just take this leaf, press it down on there. Look, and wipe it off. Look, don't fill your bucket up with this gold gilding. You don't need to do that. Just put a little bit in there. Because as soon as you touch it, it's good. look, it's gonna turn to dust. So you don't wanna put all of your gilding in there at once. <gasps> Look, oh my gosh, that's so pretty. Okay, just put that on there. You know you wanna play with this. Look, okay, I'm gonna put a little more up here. Look, you know you want to play with this. How? Okay. And then just wipe the rest of it off. And that's it. Okay. Oh, look. Let me get this out of the way. That's reflecting. We didn't notice that. Sorry about that. Look. Oh, my goodness. It's like, oh, I love it. It's like a sunset, all the sunsetty colors. Ugh, love it. Okay, that's the gilded leafing. Oh my goodness. And that's a good trick with the glue stick, just to put some gold leaf on the glue stick and tap it onto your, sorry, let me cover this because the last thing I need is gold all over the living room. Oh, not that. Look, it's all over anyway. Oh, well. Oh, well. Okay. Um, now we need to, we need to stamp our, stamp our dandelion. I mean, is this page not just fabulous? I mean, it's just gorgeous. Everything, let's see. So this stamp, we're using this one from Garden Wishes, and it does have some cutouts. So we're going to use this, this die. It is important with this set to do your <clears throat> reverse, reverse die cut first. Because when you are, um, Stamping this image. It, 
it's hard to get this straight and this straight in your die. So if you go ahead and make your mask, oops, look at that. Oh, that's a purple one. Not purple, it's a Blackberry Bliss. So I'm just using black. Look, that's pretty too. Mm. So many possibilities. It's hard when you're, you don't want to, you don't want to stamp and then die cut because it is hard in the die to get this all just perfect. So go ahead and cut several, cut out a mask and get your mask lined up with your stamp. And then you can just cut out bunches of these. So I just took two inch strips of paper and just cut several of these out of scrap so it's it saves your paper a lot and then I just place it down here in my mask and you'll have to pardon me I'm using my old archival black ink okay lay that down in your mask and do try with this one even though you've got the stamparatus do try to get your image stamped in one go because again like i said the top of this flower if you get that off just the slightest your eyeballs will not be happy so try to get that in the first go round, and looks like we did perfect so then we'll just pop this up And look at that. Okay. Perfectly distance here to here. And the stem is good. Okay. Now, another advantage to having the mask. Okay. We've got so much color going on in the background that we don't actually have to color this. You can, of course, put some Wink of Stella or something on it, but it's just going to sit on there and it's going to stand out perfectly just like that. One advantage to having the mask when you do your die cut first is that now you can add a little shadow. So I'm going to have my flower. Have my flower. My dandelion right about here we kept calling them dragonflies at club yesterday it was funny we had to keep correcting each other they're not dragonflies they're dandelions but you can get the dragonfly punch okay and then I'm going to scoot this over to the right just a smidge and then on this right side I'm just going to Add some shadow. Oops, look, I stuck that, see? I stuck it right down on the, I'll show you. See, no matter how many times I tell myself, do not start on the paper. I plop that down right on the paper and now look what I'm gonna have. A big old blobby blob. Look. Because I took this down and went like that. It's okay. I'm going to cover it up. So now we have a nice shadow. So watch this. Um, I hope I have some dimensionals. So I'm going to lay this down like this. I'm going to keep my stem where it should be. But look, I'm going to scoot this over like that. And it's going to have a shadow. Okay. Now to do the stem, just cut up the side of your dimensionals. Oh. Okay. I'm just gonna pull this off right now.
just lay that right on your stem like that. Perfect. I don't know, enough dimensionals? I don't know. <laughs> okay. Now, I'm just gonna keep my stem straight here. I'm going to scooch this over just a little bit. Oh, so it looks like a shadow. Oh, love it, love it, love it. Okay, I need my other two pieces here. Okay, on one of your scrap pieces of paper, <clears throat> just stamp it, it has some shading on a piece of paper with the yellow the bumblebee so I just took this little bitty hello right here it's a little bitty stamp look at that it's so cute but when you cut this, like I said, I just uh, stamped it on a scrap. Okay, let me. Okay, how cute. And then we need some gilded gems. Oops. I'm just going to take our medium one, put it here, then a small one. Okay, we need our card base. Card base, and then We'll put down our black, we'll do our black straight. Remember, hold this straight up. Okay. Put this on here straight, make sure I'm opening the right way. Now I'm going to take this Razzleberry and do the edges like that just a little bit. Okay, so this one I'm gonna, I will do a little bit off to the side. And 
then this will be straight. we go we forgot oh I've got to add a little dragonfly I almost forgot so dragonflies it's also in the catalog and so the dragonfly punch is bundled with the dragonfly garden set which we are we're not using this one today but we will be so the punch is bundled with this set the stamp set that we use today garden wishes is bundled with the dies okay let me just see little purple and I'm just using what's in the brush here and let me do a little blue and I just take my dragonfly pop him out let me put a little more purple on him here. And then let me... How did I put him on? I'm just going to put him on with some glue. I should put him in the gilding. Oh, that'd be pretty. The dragonfly, the big dragonfly. This big dragonfly with the gilding, the little glue stick gilding trick that I just discovered by accident. Mm, it's gonna be cute. Wow, look. So pretty, so, so pretty. So take advantage of the Memories and more card bases. It it allows you to just focus on the fun of making the card and not worry about coming up with your card bases. And look how pretty that background is. Ornate layers dies. When are those not spectacular? We did some color blending. Look at that. We did some gilding. Gorgeous. We did our, used our Stamparatus, and look, we didn't have to add any color to our stamped image today, and yet this card has plenty of wow factor to it. Remember when you're doing this dandelion flower, this is an important, this is a good stamp to use the reverse reverse die cut first. Die cut out all of your shapes, and then stamp. It makes a big difference. Okay, that's it for today. Thank you for joining me. Don't forget to check out my blog to see more and have a great day. Bye.